welcome back to my channel you guys so this is part two of everything i ate while i was visiting nigeria part one is in the description box so this is the room cafe obviously how it sounds it's kind of brunch breakfasty vibes so this is how the space looks i was able to vlog because it was empty because we were there very very early which is great so i didn't have to worry about other people being in the space and not being able to film so that was nice so I started with this Cinderella drink. It's 6,500 uh, Naira. I am putting the prices for you guys so you can see the difference and just do a little comparable. But this drink is like a passion fruit, um, what was it? Pineapple, maybe some mango. I don't even know. But it was a tropical fruit blend and it was so delicious. Like I have to hold myself back from drinking the whole thing. And my partner got this um, pineapple ginger. You know, you can't go wrong with a pineapple ginger. It's just so classic. But yeah, so that was delicious as well. So I ordered the mac and cheese and I added chicken. So it came to 11,000 Naira. And it was really good. It was quite cheesy. And it comes with a side of bread as well. Talk about carbs, LOL. So definitely look at the cheesiness, like it's stringy, it's gooey, it's mac and cheesin'. It's mac and cheesin'. So here I go for my first bite. Yum, yum, yum. It was delicious. And guys, it was actually like very cheesy. It was so cheesy that it could have used more macaroni. Yeah, it was so cheesy. You could have added macaroni to the cheese it was very cheesy i also ordered chicken tacos these are seven thousand naira the pricing here is, is honestly the pricing here is honestly very reasonable so this is me taking my bite it had some um like pickled onions and some bell peppers on top with some sauce and salad so it was good it was good and definitely come back to try the rest of their menu so later on that day we went to this spot it's called the orchid bistro so there's two there's one in okoyi but that one is like an express it's called bistro express and then this location i think is the main location so this is in akeja so akeja is on the mainland so i was staying on the islands so we drove into the mainland to visit this place. So we were with great, great, great grand aunt. <laughs> the baby's great, great, great grand aunt. She took us here for lunch. This place is so beautiful. Like if, not if, when I build my own house, I'm definitely gonna have a huge garden or greenhouse. I just love it. Like it's so serene. So they also have, um, they have like two sides so this is kind of like the grab and go side it has cookies muffins cupcakes cake tins and more plants <laughs> yeah so i actually ended up ordering a apple crumble which i had them heat up mm -mm -mm. i think i just breathed that thing in it was delicious also i cannot remember the prices because i couldn't find the menu online to show you the prices so I'm guesstimating. I feel like I must have paid like maybe 5,000 Naira or four bucks for that apple crumble. And these are the muffin selections, but I'm trying to be disciplined and get one thing. So I also had a cappuccino, which I haven't had in ages. I added some honey to it and it was so delicious. And this is just sugar. Like this is um, sugar cubes, brown and white sugar cubes. And then my partner ordered this hot chocolate. It was hot chocolating. It was hot chocolating. So for the main course for myself, I got this salmon with, it's like a cream of mushroom sauce, veggies and mashed potatoes. Presentation is beautiful and it tastes even more beautiful. <laughs> it was really good. Like I don't eat the skin on salmon ever i always peel it off and somehow 
somehow I ate the skin on this baby okay this was so delicious I'm so glad Bop Bop don't know how delicious this is <laughs> but he's crying for I don't know what but honey I'm gonna need some space so go with your day lol but this was really good I would definitely get this again like I love salmon and I'm telling you the skin was like cooked to perfection I don't know if I just got my got the right cook or what it was really really nice and crispy and seasoned perfectly the mushroom sauce the mashed potatoes are so smooth and creamy man oh man next i'm at a local joint so this place is called belly full get it belly full <laughs> so it's a little shop in i think it's in lakey yeah it's in lakey close to the water so this is a very um typical setup for local foods and this is what we have in canada like if you go to the mall and of course even the states or the uk when you go to the mall they have the food and warmers and you just point to what you want and they dish it out for you so that's what i did in my um bowl i have a goosey I have a goosey, which is the yellowish stuff. And then I also have um, okra stew. I have never had okra stew because I, I don't like okra. Like when my parents used to make okra, I just felt disgusted because it was slimy, you know? <laughs> so here I am eating the stew for the very first time. And I just feel so embarrassed because it tastes so good. Look at me. I'm like, how does this taste so good? I hate it. Like, I, I think I hate it. But I'm like, damn, this is actually so good. Why haven't I been eating okra all my life? God, where have I been? Jeez. Then I also got this piece of, I think it's a chicken leg. A very large chicken leg, okay, in like red stew. It was a little bit spicy, but it was finger licking. Look at me. Finger licking good. So everything came up to, I think, 11,000 naira. They also gave us a full carton like a full carton, like a liter carton to that juice there of orange juice with our dinner. So this was really good. And that soft thing that looks like mashed potatoes is called ebba, which is pounded yam. So that's what I'm eating with my, um, my soup. But boy, oh boy, I'm just thinking that this would be a funny place to go on like a date. <laughs> I don't know, because... I mean, I don't know. Do people go on first dates and eat with their hands? Like, I don't mind, but it gets a little messy. Like, look at my face, you know? Also, the fan was on high, so it was blowing the um, slime from the okra like all over the place, which I thought that was like, LOL. All right, and another brunch spot. This place is called Crust Cafe, and I'm starting off with a Lotus Biscoff milkshake now boys and girls this milkshake is thick okay thicker than a snicker whatever that means <laughs> but it was delicious there were big chunks of lotus biscoff inside the um milkshake and i was like chewing oh my god bob bob i'm gonna have to eat your hand i ordered myself some fish tacos i love tacos i mean who doesn't love tacos okay so these fish tacos were delicious definitely got to get these again and the price was pretty reasonable for three fish tacos loved it loved it then i also had a sandwich i haven't had a sandwich in so long in my life so i thought i'd get a sandwich just a sandwich this is the chicken and cheese um sandwich and I did not realize that it had three slices of bread. <laughs> so in one layer, there was the cheese. And then the other layer had the chicken. But it was a very, very delicious sandwich. It was so crunchy. It was warm. It was Look at the cheese, y'all. It was good. It was good. It was giving. And I actually dipped this into the ketchup. And it made it more scrum diddly umptious, But definitely delicious. So guys, this is the end of everything I ate. In Nigeria part two I think I want to have to do this in Ghana comment down below if you want to see me do this in Ghana so I want to see you guys in my next video 
comment, subscribe, and leave a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye.